Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've come to Britain in the sun. It's a few miles away from Britain. I'm in Gibraltar on the rock to see what Gibraltar is all about. You may have heard about it. You may have seen pictures of it. By the way, that's it behind me. But what does Gibraltar have to offer? Actually, it has to offer quite a lot. Not only is there walking and adventure tours, there's also beaches, a really lovely town. In fact, there's also a few British shops here and British road signs and post boxes. So let's do the tour. Hear that absolute silence. It is crazy. I am walking on a runway. with a coffee in uh, Casme Square. Um, we're actually gonna go for a bit of a walk through the town because there are so many British shops here, like there's a Matalan, a Marks and Spencers, there's even a Morrison's. In fact, it's one of the biggest Morrison's outside of the UK. Mind you, that isn't hard when it is the only one outside of the UK. There's British telephone boxes, there's British post boxes, and there's also British police and road signs and traffic lights. We'll go and check it all out. I'm just going to finish this coffee and then we'll get going. So one thing you'll notice about this main square is uh, the military feel to it. Look at these big doors. Incredible. So going back a couple of thousand years, um, this was once a beach. It started off. There's actually sand underneath here. It's also been the site of uh, military hangings going back a good few hundred years. Uh, but now it's a sociable area where people come, eat and drink. But we're going to walk straight ahead because straight ahead is Main Street and this is where you do most of your shopping in Gibraltar. And you see glimpses of England everywhere, like you see these big black plant holders, which you'll probably see around London, the bins. I still find it fascinating, you know, all the British signs which wouldn't look out of place in a city in the UK. Of course, the telephone boxes. And the post box. And interestingly, Gibraltar has a UK postcode. What I love about Main Street is that you get a feel of Britishness but also Spanish as well. So let's have a look at some of the British shops that are here. This must be the smallest Matalan I have ever seen. has been here in Gibraltar 
for at least 30 years, but they've actually closed now. But how many top shops look like this? Beautiful. So right now it does feel like a British high street with Marks and Spencers here and I can see next just further up there. Wow, look at these. Looks so beautiful. You wouldn't find flowers blooming like this in the UK. It does mess with your head a little bit. The brickwork here looks very British indeed. And then you literally just look there and it's very Spanish. So you'll see these maps everywhere in Gibraltar. You can't get lost. Although sometimes when you're walking around the town, it can get a little bit confusing, especially if you walk around some of the back streets like I did the other night and completely got lost. But anyway, um, you always manage to find your way back to the main area. So uh, we're here right now and we've literally just come um, down Main Street. What we're going to do now is we're going to head to Ocean Village, which is uh, which is brand new, and uh, it's just over here. We're going to have to check that out. And um, yeah, it's all pretty much compact. So the airport is literally just there, and you've got Gibraltar stretching out. Okay, so if you've never been to Gibraltar before and you don't know what to expect, so I'll kind of try and explain it to you. It feels British, it feels Spanish, and there's also, obviously because of the, uh, the military past, this military feel about it as well. But I can't get my head around just how beautiful parts of Gibraltar actually are. And right now, I'm going to head to the new kind of Gibraltar, which is a development opened up a few years ago, right on the water's edge with casinos, hotels, apartments and restaurants called Ocean Village. One of my favourite bars here is the, uh, the Ivy and at night you get an amazing sunset here as well. But I'm quickly going to show you just over there the casino which is also the Sunborn. It looks like a boat but it's a hotel. This is the Yacht Hotel. It's a five-star hotel here in Gibraltar. It's also got a casino as well and it is pretty epic, especially when you look from the back. It is actually a boat. I thought it was a hotel that was themed to look like a boat, but no, it's an actual boat. These caves under Gibraltar Rock are absolutely incredible. Now obviously there's caves that you can do tours of, like the World War II tunnels. There's also tunnels like this, which are basically, well, a road. There's also a very special cave here in Gibraltar that you have to see. And it's quite wet down here as well because all these um, stalag, is it mites or stalactites? I'm sure someone will tell me in the description with the water and bits of minerals that have been seeping through the rocks for years. Just look at that. The Romans believed that this was a bottomless cave. And like I say now, it's used for um, concerts. 
Just look at that. Absolutely amazing. So if you're feeling adventurous, you could actually discover the lower St. Michael's Cave with ponds in there and um, it's pretty amazing stuff. It's a little bit wet underfoot, so make sure you bring appropriate footwear, but St. Michael's Cave, definitely worth a look. I'm going to try and experience all the different things you can do up the rock. The first is going to be the suspension bridge, which is, as by name, a suspension bridge. And apparently it's supposed to be pretty amazing. Um, obviously, I'm on my bike and uh, I've got quite the view. Trying to do this one handed whilst going downhill quite fast is, uh, is a bit of a skill. I'll tell you what, though, the best thing about an electric bike is not only is it easy to go up a hill, it's just as fun to go down. I think I must be here. There doesn't seem to be anyone else here right now, which is good. So first, it's Windsor Bridge. We have to go down these steps. I can just see it actually, just up there. So these steps are uh, very steep indeed. And for once, I'm not actually wearing flip-flops. I've got some decent shoes on, which is um, what is required, especially today. And I'm kind of glad the sun's not out fully right now because uh, I'm already sweating as it is. And this is quite the walk. Here it is, the Windsor Suspension Bridge. What I'm gonna do is just take the camera up on my pole, just to show you what it's like walking even higher. Thankfully, I'm not looking down. I'm just looking straight ahead. Yikes, that's high. So if you don't like heights, maybe give it a miss. But to be honest, um, because you don't see through the bottom, you don't really notice how high it is until you see it from that side. <laughs> it's not that high unless you look down. So this is Ape's Den, and literally you walk all the way up the stairs, and there are a lot of them, all the way to the top. I'm gonna go and do it. Well, I'm definitely working my calf muscles today. So I'm actually now walking right up to the top in a place where monkeys are normally everywhere. They'll probably be right at the top though, to be honest. And uh, I'm gonna do something called the Sky Walk, which is a walkway with a glass floor. So that's gonna be interesting. And I just saw a little snake and I'm freaked out now. But the reason why I did this was because of the view. Wow. And it tells me here to be careful because they might react aggressively if confined along these steps, even though there's nowhere else to go. As yet, I've only seen three of them, to be honest. Almost to the top. I can't breathe. 
and I've still got to go all the way up there and past these monkeys. Oh, don't go up the stairs. Don't, no, don't go up the stairs. Oh, great. That's it. So he's just decided to sit there and I'm scared to go past him, to be honest. It'd be right if there was someone else here to walk past me, to, to go first, but there isn't. And it's just me. Isn't it typical? I should have just gone when I did. No, 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 there's nothing in there. There's no food in there. There's no food there? No. Get your mitts out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him though. Just randomly on the car. They're not scared at all, are they? I've got a sweat on coming up here. These monkeys on the other hand, they're just taking it easy, nice and cool, in the shade. So this is the Skywalk, and uh, those people that are scared of heights, it's not worth coming up here, but uh, if you like the thrill, and uh, you like heights, this is definitely worth it. OMG. It's not too bad to be honest, I thought it would be worse than this. Great view here, look, of both sides of the rock. Down to the beach. So if you are coming up the rock and exploring, make sure you bring lots of water. You literally see the little monkeys everywhere. It's just chilling underneath the tree. So if you did do the Mediterranean steps, it would take you around about an hour to come all the way up here and probably another hour to come back down. But this is the views that you get. Absolutely amazing. I'm now gonna go to the highest point on the rock. Let's go, wish me luck. It's actually really difficult to start when you're midway up a hill and hold a camera at the same time. We can do this. Whoa. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry if it looks like I've got a little bit of a uh, a sweat on that's because I'm biking up this very steep hill I mean just look at it you wouldn't be able to do this on a normal bike, electric bike or it is an electric yeah, bike yeah. thankfully <laughs> <laughs> I know I make it look easy don't I there's little baby monkeys as well they look so cute is he gonna move are you gonna move don't get me the scariest thing is, is these will jump on your bags and your bikes and everything. Look at him, look. He's so tiny. I just can't believe that I've actually managed to cycle all the way up here. I'm still not yet at the top. And here we are at the most highest point on the rock, O'Hara's Battery. Oh, you don't think they're going to do much. So we're now at 1,383 feet in the air and at the highest point of Gibraltar. Looking over the Mediterranean. Wow, look at that. And right on the top, you've got this massive gun that is still here. Obviously, it's not in operation but you can have a look at the structure which has been placed up here 
it's absolutely massive pointing right out towards Africa that is incredible So as point of reference, you can see the lighthouse there just on the southernmost tip of Gibraltar. Africa over there, the southernmost tip of Spain and the opening to the Mediterranean, which you can imagine if you would have been here thousands or millions of years ago when the Mediterranean flooded, this would have been an awesome sight to have stood here, to have watched the water rush in from the Atlantic into this massive bay it would have been and as you follow the coast just past Gibraltar and the rock of course you've got um, mainland Spain you can even go underneath this gun as well and check out all the um, engineering or bits all the bullets as well and Frank who used to literally get the shells and load it in So there's definitely a lot to see up the rock in Gibraltar. But did you know that Gibraltar has six beaches? Four of them are beautiful. And I'm here at Little Bay, Sandy Bay, to check out the first beach on my beach tour of Gibraltar. Let's go. Pebbly Beach. It's still beautiful water. I believe they have been doing some work on this. There is a little bit of sand on this part of the beach. So easy access into the water. So I've just come from Little Bay and uh, just came across a beautiful natural wonder just randomly here coming out of the uh, the rock is this beautiful waterfall look at that and that is the next beach we are heading to sandy bay Let's head down towards Sandy Bay. So all the sand that you see here has been uh, shipped in from the Sahara and is very fine. It's really nice, hence the name Sandy beach and they put the groins in to stop the water from taking the sand away but um, it is a beautiful beach I'll never think about Gibraltar and beaches in the same light again got the wrong shoes on though so I can't go in the water so no flip flops off but yeah beautiful so that's Sandy Beach Let's move on to our next one. So, I've got my flip flops off because I've definitely got to check out this beach because I think by far in Gibraltar, this has got to be one of my favorite beaches. Anywhere you go around the Med, you'll always see like a Spanish flag but here, 
you see that British flag pretty much everywhere. But this beach, look at it. Views of the rock, these really lovely coloured little houses they're doing up at the moment. And that really nice hotel just over there. But the water's gorgeous. And just at the southern end of the rock, actually near the runway, is uh, Eastern Beach, which has uh, nice places to come and have a drink. And again, the sand actually is really nice. Let's take a look. So a lot of building work going on at the moment as well. So might either going to be uh, hotels or apartments, I'm not quite sure what they're doing there. But look at this beach, this is beautiful. So my main aim for this evening is to get up to the rock before sunset and I've kind of got to go through the rock in order to get up the rock. Cool, this bike can go. Feel the burn. I'm going 20 miles an hour right now. Slow. Well, I've got no problems with that. I see light. Whew. Well, thankfully, my brakes work. And it's a beautiful time to come up and see the lighthouse on the end there. It's so quiet around here this evening. And I just thought I might as well take a quick trip to the famous lighthouse here in Gibraltar. People having their photos taken. I tell you what, I love electric bikes. They're just so easy. Like I've got a massive hill coming up and I'm not worried at all. I don't know if you can hear it working. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick in a minute. See, <laughs> going up hill is easy, but you still have to move your legs a lot. And we're gonna to get to the top just as it hits sunset. I'm going uphill and I'm doing 14 miles an hour. You just come across this little seating area. Wow, look at that. Absolutely incredible. Just look how beautiful this spot is at sunset in Gibraltar. It's gorgeous. Sunset is probably one of my most favorite times of the day, especially when the sky starts to go all orange. And the rock looks even more special at night as the whole thing gets lit up. But it makes you think, what kind of lights do they use to light up the rock? 
And the answer, some powerful ones, those ones will do it. So I'm on my way home now and uh, leaving Gibraltar behind, but also walking to the airport because it's actually so close. And one of the most unique things about Gibraltar is the airport. Some say it's the world's most dangerous airport because of the wind shear from the rock. And also, there's a road going all the way through it, which is what I'm walking on right now. It is crazy. I am walking on a runway. There's cars, there's people, there's people on scooters walking across a runway, which is absolutely mental. I'm now pretty much in the centre of the runway. <laughs> How many times do you get to see that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my tour of Gibraltar. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video from Gibraltar. I'll see you next time. <laughs>